and I don't know how many people have seen it, but Atonement is a really good book by Ian McEwan, who I think is a great writer. And I usually hate the film of the book. Um, you know, I usually avoid going to see the film of the book because if you really love a book, you'll generally be disappointed by the film. But Atonement is the one exception to that. It is really fantastically faithful to what the book feels like, um, even though it departs from the detail of the book in a number of ways. It gets the idea without trying to be literal. The, you need to understand the, the story behind it. It starts in the early 1930s. Bryony Tallis is the young daughter of a rich family. Um, she uh, maliciously, I think it's fair to say, puts a person in to the police for having violated a young girl who's staying with the family. She does it half thinking she's doing the right thing, but half recognising that she's doing the wrong thing. Um, you then cut to the Second War, uh, where the man who has just been released from prison in order to um, join the army um, is um, retreating to the beach at Dunkirk. He's been wounded with the platoon that he'd been separated from. Meantime, the love of his life, Bryony's older sister, uh, is working as a nurse in an army hospital. Um, as we discover, they never meet again. And then the film ends with an interview with Bryony Tallis as a woman in late middle age it's the only, the five or six minutes you'll see is the only time when Vanessa Redgrave appears in the film. It is a brilliant performance by her. And, and I think for many people, um, for many people, uh, white Australians, the Stolen Generations was then a settled account, something that history had dealt with. And we felt good because we had dealt with it. But if we're honest, we haven't. Mm -hmm. I have to I mean, that, that's maybe me reading more into things than is there, but it struck me, having just talked about it with you, it struck me watching that. That's mm -hmm. pretty much what we have done. And I wonder if in years to come, maybe generations to come, we will reach the same sort of provisional truth about what we've done to refugees and maybe what we've done to people with mental disabilities and what we've done to people who are otherwise at the margins of society and don't get the benefits that the rest of us take for granted. Yeah.